What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back or welcome to Lin Lin. Thank you guys so much for coming to check out the video today. Guys, as you can see from the title, I am headed into Winko today to do my weekly grocery shopping for my family. So I want to stick to my list. I got my I got my list right here. I do not want to go over the amount that I have set to spend. I don't want to spend more than $120 in here today, guys. So this will be a meal plan that I have for the rest of this week for my family of six. Do you guys think that I can stay under $120? Do you think it's possible? I don't know, but we're going to go in here and we're going to find out. All right, guys, let's go. It's another beautiful morning out here. It's going to be another beautiful day. I think the high is supposed to be in the mid 70s, which is good. So I'm going to enjoy this weather. I wanted to get up and get my grocery shopping done as early as possible so that I can get on with the day. So let's go in here and see what kind of prices they got going on today, guys. So walking in, they've always got something on sale. They got the tortilla chips, the goldfish, and the Rockstar energy drinks all on sale in here when you walk in today. I said I have a list today. You guys can see my list and I am going to stick to this list. First thing I'm gonna get is a pineapple. These are $1.98 in here still. So I'm gonna grab one of these. This one smells really good. I'll go get some bags. So I got my pineapple. The asparagus is still 98 cents in here. So I'm gonna grab a couple of those as well. So the strawberries were 248 the last time I came in. They are now 268 which isn't bad. There are a couple cents more, so I'm still gonna get a couple of these in here today. So one of the meals that I'll be making this week calls for a red pepper, so I'm gonna get one of these and they are a dollar 28. I can never forget my bananas. Gotta grab some bananas. And I wanna grab one that has a little bit more in it. And I've said before, when it comes to buying the bananas, I buy the ones that are a little green like this because I've noticed that they last a little bit longer than the ones that are ripe. They go bad pretty quick. The bananas are 58 cents a pound in here, so I'm gonna get one of these. Then the black seedless grapes are 298, but they don't have any of those actually. So I'm gonna get the red ones, and I think these ones are about the same price. It's not up here, but I'm pretty sure they're the same price. So I'm gonna get a bag of the red grapes. The Cosmic Crisp apples in here are $1.28 a pound. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. I think I'll get about five of them. I still have a bag of apples um, that I bought not too long ago that the kids haven't eaten yet, but I'm gonna get a couple of these ones as well. Okay, so I got my apples. Now what I'm gonna do is head over and grab my water. I like to grab my water before my basket gets too full, just so that I can get those out of the way. And like always, I'm going to get five waters because I drink them and I also use them to cook. I'm gonna say that every time because people always wonder why I buy waters in the gallon like that and I buy them because I drink distilled water and I also use it to cook my food. So I will always get about five of these at a time. It's not as stocked as it usually is today. Usually like this whole thing is 
stocked. So maybe they haven't got their shipment in yet, but there's still plenty in here for me to grab the five that I need. I'm gonna head back over and grab the rest of my vegetables and as well as my lemons. One of the vegetables that I want to get is some green beans and some broccoli. If you guys have been watching my channel, then you know I always, always have broccoli as one of my vegetables. That is one of the main vegetables that my kids eat. I try to switch it up, but for the most part, they eat broccoli. Every once in a while, they'll try something new, but broccoli is always what it is. 38 cents still. I think that is just the price of them in here. They are always 38 cents every time I come. So as always, I'm gonna grab 10 of the lemons. The seedless mandarins are still 2.48. And grab a bag of these. I want to say they went down in price. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but they are $2.48 in here today. I want to say maybe last time they were $2.99. So I am going to grab a bag of those just because $2.48 is not bad for those. Their broccoli selection looks way better today than it did the last time I came. So I'm going to get a couple heads of broccoli. Do you guys eat broccoli? If so, how do you cook it? Do you steam it? Do you boil it? Do you like pan fry it? How do you cook it? So one of my meals this week calls for, calls for potatoes. And I like to get the yellow gold potatoes. These are $3.48 a bag. And the bags are how many pounds? These are five pound bags. So that's not a bad price. Five pound bags for $3.48. So here are the green beans. They have them like this where you can pick your own. That's what I'm gonna do today. And they are a dollar and 68 cents per pound. So I'm gonna grab a couple handfuls of the green beans. Okay, so I got my green beans. And I think today I'm actually gonna grab some Brussels sprouts. I don't know, they're looking pretty good today. I haven't had them for a while. I haven't cooked them lately, but I have a really good recipe for Brussels sprouts and they are $1.28 a pound today. So I'm gonna grab a pound, maybe two pounds of Brussels sprouts. Now that I have all of my vegetables and my fruits that I'm gonna get, I'm going to head over to the meat department and grab the meats that I'm going to be using for my meals this week. So the first thing that I'm going to get is my shrimp. I'm going to grab two of my large shrimp. These shrimps are $6.38 a piece for the large and I'm going to grab two of these. Another one of my meals calls for salmon. Now usually I won't buy salmon that's frozen, but because I don't wanna make the trip to Costco, which is where I usually get my salmon from, I'm gonna get it from here. And this is the wild Pacific salmon portions. And these are, these are $7.18 for a pack. And it probably comes with about four to six of them in the pack. I'm not sure. I haven't bought those for a while, but I'm going to get those today. Another one of my meals for the week calls for chicken thighs. The chicken thighs are not bad price. They are $9.65, $8.25. There's one for $7.39, $7.92. So I think I'm going to grab this one right here that is $7.39. They are $1.58 a pound here compared to Walmart and Safeway you are getting a much better deal. So this one right here $7.39. This is the one that I'm going to get today. 
This one right here is $7.48. I'm gonna get a thing of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This is another one of my meals that I will be preparing this week. This is what I'll be using. So this one is $7.48. They have them for $9.19, some are $11.59. So I'm gonna get this one right here. I'm also going to grab one of these medium cheddar cheeses on the block. This is $3.38. And I've noticed that since I've been using the cheese from the block versus the packaged cheese like those over there, my recipes have been coming out a little bit better. And I know that because there's something that they put in the packages of cheese where the cheese doesn't melt as good as it would coming from the block. So I've been just buying the blocks of cheese and shredding my own lately. Here we go, right here, $2.88. I'm gonna come over here and check out how much the eggs are. I also need a thing of whipping cream as well. So I'm gonna get this one right here and I always get the smaller one because I don't use as much of it. I'm also gonna grab some butter. I use this butter right here, the Land Lakes Olive Oil and Sea Salt. These ones are $4.19. And Got how much the eggs are. So they are $14.44 in here today for the 60 count. I wanna say the last time I came, they were $19. The last time I purchased a big one, they were $19. So I don't need a big one today because I still have a lot of eggs left over. So I'm just gonna grab this 18 count, that's $4.40. So one of the things that I need is some, I think it's back here, some olive oil. Now I use olive oil, the extra virgin olive oil at that to cook a lot of my meals. When I don't have butter, I use it for that as well. So this is the only oil that I use when it comes to cooking. Maple syrup in here is still $7.98. I want to go to Grocery Outlet and see if they have the cheaper, see if they have it cheaper in there. Not for the same brand, but the last time I went there and got some, I wanna say I spent like maybe five or six dollars. I can't remember exactly, but I know it was a little cheaper. Now I'm gonna get some honey because I have to have my honey for my tea. And I got this again the last time, $6.52. I don't remember how much I paid for it at Grocery Outlet, guys, I don't be remembering that. But it could have been a little bit cheaper, but they pretty much last the same amount of time with me because like I said, I'm a tea drinker and I drink it almost every day. So it does go pretty quick. And then I also need that honey because one of my recipes calls for it as well. So I'm gonna get two things of the penne noodles. These are 98 cents in here. And this is for um, some, this is for the meals that I will be preparing. It calls for the penne noodles. So guys, I will be trying a pesto pasta for the first time. I have no clue which kind to get. But because I'm always on a budget, I'm going to go with the cheaper one. This says Classic Pesto, and it is $2.88. I hope it's good, guys. I don't know. Have you guys tried this? It doesn't look bad. Classic Pesto Italian recipe. Yeah, so we're going to try this one, and hopefully it turns out good. I'll make sure that when I do make it, I will let you guys know how that sauce tastes. Guys, I got the thing in the store again. The last time I came in here, someone was on it, but I guess now they got it rolling around by itself again. Another thing one of my recipes calls for is a can of Rotel. Now, I use Rotel for a couple different things, like to make my nachos, and um, I've used it in a couple recipes, but this is $1.28 in here. Okay guys, so I have everything on my list. This is everything that I need right here. I didn't get anything that wasn't on my list today, guys. So how much do you guys think I'm going to spend? How much do you guys think this total will be? 
everything that's in my basket, I think besides the oranges, were on my list today. How much do you guys think this is gonna be? I'm gonna head to the register and we're gonna find out now. All right, guys, I am back in the car. Now y'all seen that total, right? I cannot believe that I stayed under $120. Now, when I started getting all my stuff and I started calculating in my head, I was like, this is about to go over 120. This is about to go over the budget that I set for myself. And I did not, I actually stayed under budget. I was able to go in and spend less than $120 for my family of six to make meals for the rest of this week, guys. So I'm gonna run that total back to you one more time because I know you've seen it. I know you've seen it, but I just gotta say it one more time. $109.82, can you believe that? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video, all right? Bye.